Hi guys, I wanted to show you a really visual example of probability and show you kind of what should be going on in your head or maybe even on paper as you try to figure out some probability problems. So this example comes directly from your notes on simple events probability. On the second half of that sheet, there is a word problem that says, a set of cards are numbered one through 30. Suppose you pick a card at random without looking, find the probability of each event and write it as a fraction in its simplest form. All right, so the first one says, what's the probability of picking 12? Well, I have one 12 card out of 30 whole cards. So my whole is gonna be 30 because that's how many cards I have in total. And only one is 12. So one out of 30 is my probability for picking 12. The next one says, what is the probability of picking two and three? So I have two and three. Well, I have two cards here. So that's the part that I could pick. And there's 30 cards in total. So the probability of picking two or three is two out of 30. And I can simplify that down to 1 15th. All right, the next one says, what's the probability of choosing a multiple of five? So remember when we talked about doing multiple of, that means we have to list the multiplication tables of whatever they're asking for. And they asked for a multiple of five. So I'm gonna start and list my multiplication tables. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I only have 30 uh, cards, so I'm gonna stop with 30. So let's see how many cards that is. So I have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of those 30 cards are multiples of five. And that can be reduced down to one, Fifth. So in its simplest form, that's one fifth of the cards are a multiple of five. The next one asks, not a multiple of five. So be really careful with that word not because it can really trip us up if we forget to read that. But not a multiple of five. Well, I just said that six of the cards were a multiple of five. So they're asking what's left over? How many are in these two groups? So I could sit here and count how many cards are not a multiple of five. Or I can say, well, I had 30 in total, and six of them were multiples of five. If I subtract 30 minus six, I'm gonna get 24. There's 24 cards left over. So there are 24 chances for not a multiple of five out of 30, and I can simplify that down to four fifths. So my final answer for that one is four fifths. The last one says less than or equal to 10. So less than or equal to 10. So if it can equal 10, 10 is an option. So it says or equal to, so 10 is an option. And then less than 10 would be all of these numbers. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All of these numbers are greater than 10, so they can't be options. So there are 10 numbers that are 10 or less out of 30, and that can be simplified down to one third. So when you're doing probability, you might need to do something like this. You might need to list on your paper one through 30. You might need to draw a picture. Another one that we see a lot is this marbles bag. So there's a bag of marbles, and here's me drawing my bag. It looks terrible. I don't even know what kind of bag that is. But let's say they, they tell you that you have three blue marbles, four green marbles, and one red marble. You might need to draw a picture like this in order to understand how to do the problem and to do your probability work. So doing visuals, guys, whatever you need to do to help yourself is going to be really, really helpful. Draw pictures, draw tallies, 
do whatever you need to do to solve these probability problems.